Welcome to the first edition of Movie Minutes. Last week, a Memorandum of Understanding was signed between IDAL, the Investment Authority in Lebanon, and Liban Fondation Cinema to help create a fund that could support aspiring artists, screenwriters, movie directors, and others. Now, this was an important step in Lebanon because there is so much talent, and at the conference where the MOU was signed, they said that supporting the media industry in the country could help the economy, as well as create jobs, and of course, put Lebanon on the map. Alam Sabah, host and colleague of mine who was also present there, Ms. Rida Majzoub, is here today. And I'm going to start by asking you, how important do you think cinema is in Lebanon? Hello, Yumna, and hello to everybody. Definitely, cinema is very important. And uh, Lebanon has always been uh, a hub for, for cinema. It's always been an exterior decoration for everything. And usually people used to come here, they used to shoot movies from all over the world. European uh, directors, uh, Arab actors, Arab directors, they used to come here to Lebanon. It was always very interesting. Even during the Civil War, cinema hasn't stopped at all. We have a lot of uh, uh, directors who have emerged. They started here, they worked here in Lebanon under very cruel situations, and then they traveled abroad. The movies were always there. We were always present in the festivals all around the world, and this has always been happening. And year after year, we've been noticing that we need cinema. You were present at the conference. Yes. And we spoke about how important it was to develop the media industry in Lebanon and the movie industry. And speaking of the movie industry, in the last two days alone, mm -hmm. we have seen record-breaking numbers for the movie The Fast and Furious yes. 7, which had <laughs> its premiere two days ago. I just want to say a few numbers here. On its opening day, it grossed 25,000 at the box office and is expected to gross about 70,000 mm. in the weekend. <coughs> now, this for Lebanon is huge because just so our audience and our viewers know, the highest selling movie in recent history was 2012's Skyfall, mm. which on opening day grossed 11,000 and the weekend 45,000. So Fast and Furious is even double Definitely. than Skyfall. Definitely. And I know you <laughs> went to see it. Yeah, so I did. what did you think of the movie? Well, for me, Fast and Furious has always, hasn't always been my cup of tea, and definitely not now also, but maybe probably there was something emotional about this, uh, this episode yeah. of, the, of the movie or this part of the sequel. The saga itself uh, hasn't always captured my attention. I have never been to any, any of the previous any movies, Fast any Furious Fast movie? and Furious movie ah. before, because uh, this is not, this is not the, 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 the action films that I like. It's not uh, capturing for me and it's not very interesting for me. This time, it was really emotional at the beginning because Paul Walker, he left us uh, in, he in died November, two, two in November 2013 while he was still shooting uh, Furious and Furi Fast and Furious 7. And he had already filmed half of it. But they were able to finish it without Definitely. him using his brothers. What his you brothers and stunt doubles and CGI animation. They really used a lot to, in, in able to, to be able to, uh, to film the whole thing and to finish the Did whole thing. Like That's why it's, it took so long. They were, they were supposed to let it out in uh, summer 2014. It stayed until April 3rd, Did you like anything about it? I think... I think no, definitely. I liked the movie. The movie by itself is nice. Uh, the fans love it. Uh, the, bu budget, the budgets, they go up every time you, you watch such a film. For us also, it was the emotional side first, with Paul, Walker, with Paul Walker not being here to attend the premiere and everybody around him, the family and the team itself of Fast and Furious. They were so emotional while they were screening and premiering the film all over the world. It was really such a hard thing for yeah, them. I heard it during the premiere. Because they're very, very, very good friends with him and now they're, they're also like a family. For, uh, for 14 years, they've been working on this film this since, movie since came 2001. Out in 2001. Definitely. It's unbelievable. It's, you know it's really very hard for them. And for us also, for the Middle East, it was shot, uh, uh, some of it was shot in, in Abu Dhabi. And we have also a Lebanese car, which was funded by a Lebanese bank, which is a f the FFA, FFA private right. bank. The W uh, Lycan Hyper uh, Sport car, the red car in the Etihad Towers, it was a Lebanese car by a Lebanese uh, car manufacturer who is Ralph Dabbas. Yes. He made only seven cars in the world. And it's a $3.4 million car. So I know, I know. And they people who are interested. You, you have to see it in the movie. It, it's, it's phenomenal. This movie yeah. is outrageous. <laughs> it's outrageous. And, you know, it is definitely what I think what fans have expected. Definitely. You know, and at one point in this movie, and I, I couldn't help myself but say, come on, no, it's too much. No, I think <laughs> people, a lot of people were like, but this is over the top. But yeah. fans of The Fast and the Furious mm. expect it to be over the top. Yeah. This is the seventh series in the franchise. And franchise, it seems that they're still moving they on. Have to keep, they, yeah. they, keep, they have to keep outdoing themselves year after year. But I think, as you said, um, it is over the top. 
it's funny at moments, but they were able to capture an emotional side definitely. and an emotional part. We're not going to ruin it for our no, audience no, no, or no, our no viewers. Spoilers, no spoilers. But um, definitely noticing that this was Paul Walker, and it was a movie that was dedicated to yes. Paul Walker. It for was his Paul. last. And yeah, it was his last movie. And it was and the so longest one because it was his. And also we s we've seen participations from Jason. many actors. Uh, Jimon Hunso, who's an Oscar-nominated actor uh, for uh, Blood Diamond and other movies also. What about Jason Statham as the villain yeah, yeah, action? You <laughs> can pick a better action Definitely. villain than Jason Statham. It doesn't get better than that with, <laughs> with action. Nobody could have done it better. No, that's, no. that's one. And then I think, like you said, they're, like, they're a family now. Yeah. After 14 years, you see this cast on screen. And they're amazing together. They just, it's like, it's like a family. And even Vin Diesel says, this is my family. These Definitely. are not my friends. Um, and I think it was very nice of them to be able to pull off an action movie with, again, ridiculous sequences with the cars <laughs> and, and with that Abu Dhabi uh, <laughs> sequence Abu Dhabi as well. Sequence. And at the same time, have an emotional side to it, um, which was very touching, which you don't find usually in a lot of action movies. No. Moment of truth. Mm. On a scale of one to 10, what would you rate Fast and Furious 7? Well, for me, I don't want to be very subjective, but it's very difficult you for have me to not be to subjective. be subjective. It's difficult for me anyway not to be subjective because usually also when I say there's a horror film, I say for the lovers of the genre because I don't like horror movies. And l just like these action give movies... Give me a rating. Probably I would give it a 5 or a 5.5 max, okay. not, not more. Although it's been given on IMDb 8.3. I'm going to <laughs> give it an 8. Uh -huh. I'm going to give it an 8. I thought that it was exceptional it, you know it, it outdo it, they outdo themselves every time mm. they have to keep there's there's there seven now now there's going to be yeah, an eight there's, there's going to be, be an eight. more and i think just for pure entertainment purposes people i don't know what people expect i had people telling me they were criticizing the screenplay the acting i said you're not mm. going to watch an yeah. oscar nominating <laughs> film <laughs> no, you're going to watch fast and furious seven yeah. they're supposed to be bombs and cars and uh, buildings <laughs> and things of the sort <laughs> exploding and exploding um, things. and for the fun that it was i think I enjoyed it very much. Mm. It's definitely a popcorn uh, soda <laughs> movie. I gave it an 8 over a 10. So Fast and Furious, you can catch it right now. It's playing across Lebanon, all yeah. over. And you better get your tickets quickly because they're selling out very fast.